Hey what's up guys this is Alex with Verge Army XVG. Today I'm going to show you how to import your coins from your paper wallet and put it onto your core wallet. Uh, to do this you will need to import the private key from your paper wallet. It's a little tricky for beginners so let me show you how to do it. First a good idea would be to go ahead and go to verge-blockchain.info and type in your public address of your wallet here to confirm your coins are in fact in the paper wallet. Click search here and you should see how your amount of coins. I did five coins in this paper wallet in order to test it. Then you're going to want to go over to your core wallet here. Go to the debug window. Click on console. Now the instructions I'm about to give you are for an encrypted wallet. So if you're unsure that you'll be able to do this correctly with a wallet that is not encrypted, just go ahead and encrypt your wallet real quick. So that way you can do it exactly how I do it. Um, but it's, it's real easy either way. If you have an Android Tor wallet, you can use the QR code to sweep the private key instead. Okay, so you can use this QR code right here. Make sure it's the WIF. Okay, that's the private key. Let me show you the help command here. This is where you're going to find a list of commands that you can use in the wallet. I'm not going to go over all these, but I'm just going to go over how to import your private key here. Here we go. First, you're going to want to type in wallet lock. Next, you're going to want to get your wallet out of minting mode. And again, this is for encrypted wallets. Go ahead and type in wallet pass phrase, P-A-S-S, P-H-R-A-S-E, hit space, type in your pass phrase, buy more verge. This is a temporary password here, so hit space, Type in 600, hit enter. Next, you want to type in import priv, P R I V, key. Hit space. Go over to your private with key. If you don't know what the private with key is, you need to watch my video on how to make a Verge paper wallet. Go back to your wallet. Again, you had import priv key, space, paste your private key, hit space again. And now we're going to type a label that we want this to show up as. Let's name this bananas. Then hit enter. The last step is to lock the wallet again. So type in wallet lock and hit enter. If you're successful, the screen should look exactly like this and you should have no errors. So everything should be running good here. Now we just wait and you can see a little troubleshoot bar has opened up here. It says not responding. Okay, so it looks like both times that I've tested this wallet after I typed in that final wallet lock code and hit enter. The wallet appears to stay in that frozen mode, so I went ahead and closed it out. I tested this a couple times and it seems like they just need to change the code in here to where it will close the application. So you're gonna want to go ahead and, I would just wait maybe 30 seconds, a minute, and go ahead and close that application and then reopen it. The wallet needs to reload the block index. So like I said, go ahead and close the application 
and then reopen it. And as you can see here, I have 20.60 XVG. So it did go through here. And then going through to recent transactions, we can see bananas right here. So the funds from the paper wallet are on the core wallet now. So that's how you import private keys into the core wallet. All right, thanks for watching. Go ahead and leave a comment in the comments below. I do love to hear from the community. Check us out on Facebook at Verge Army XVG. Check me out on Twitter and my Telegram channel. Also, if you would like to help support my volunteer work, go ahead and donate some XVG to my address posted below. Every little bit counts. I really appreciate it. If you liked my video, be sure to subscribe. Thanks for watching.